My name's Vernon Wheeler. I'm from uh, Wheeler's Maple Products. I collect a lot of old things. I've got uh, a logging museum with a lot of chainsaws. But one thing I've got here today that we're going to talk about is this uh, log truck. This is a 1951 Dodge uh, three and a half ton log truck. Uh, it was owned by my dad and uh, over 50 years ago. As a teenager, I helped him uh, with this truck. I would do the canting and uh, he would use the controls and we could put a load on in less than 10 minutes if everything went good. This truck was uh, probably retired uh, in the late 60s and uh, it was left uh, uh, abandoned for quite a few years and I tracked it down uh, about three or four years ago and uh, restored it to the point that it's very usable right now and uh, we're going to demonstrate it a little bit later on uh, how efficient it is to load. Uh, we could draw about uh, 1,200 uh, board feet of logs on this truck uh, if they were good logs, uh, but if they're poor logs, usually a thousand board feet would be a good, a good load for this truck. Uh, loads from the passenger side here, uh, for the reason uh, the loader uh, doesn't always go in as far as it should if you have a big log at the top. So you might be a little wider than you should be and uh, it wouldn't be uh, meeting the oncoming traffic. Uh, the trip stakes are on the other side and you just uh, trip the stakes with a lever there and your load would mostly unload. So you'd really only have to roll off a few of the last logs. Worked very well but was very dangerous. Uh, we'd be lucky if uh, we had steel-toed boots. That would be our most safety uh, gear that we would have. Um, one of the rules was, the safety rule was don't get killed because tomorrow you got to work too. Uh, I got hurt a few times. Uh, you usually get your legs jammed or your toes squashed, but that was a good thing. Every time you got hurt you uh, learned a good lesson and you remembered. Uh, you would know then to stay alert and uh, work with your partner on it. There's different ways of using a cant hook, right ways and wrong ways. So uh, some of that has been lost over the years, even the terminology of using a cant hook. Uh, so we're going to do that a little later and uh, see how a cant hook is actually used. Cant hook is usually used for loading logs like this. A pivy is a lot the same as a cant hook. But a pivy has got a point on the end of it and it's usually used for uh, floating logs and, and they're used in the log driving days. But today and for uh, an application like this or even around a sawmill you would use a cant hook. Okay, we'll look at a powered winch here. This is what uh, gives it the power to uh, activate the loader. So this here is power takeoff, comes from the uh, transmission of the truck and it's running while the loader is in uh, motion. A simple brake band, when I uh, go to activate to bring up a, a log, I just close the band and that tightens the winch and that will bring the cable around and bring up the log. It's very important that this here band is adjusted very properly. So we're going to load a few logs right now and uh, see if everything works the way it's supposed to. 